On the banks of the mighty Mara River, there are thousands of wildebeest and zebra waiting to cross over. This is where all the action is at. Hundreds of people gather here each day to see the climax of the great migration. These hungry mammals are anxious to cross over because they think that the grass is greener on the other side. They hesitate on the banks because they seem to know that there are crocs waiting in the water, lions waiting in ambush on the other side. The river crossing is probably one of the most dangerous times in the wildebeest life. For all, it is a matter of life and death. As I sat there watching the river crossing, I could think of at least three life lessons from this amazing natural phenomenon. First of all, the grass on the other side of the river doesn't look much different from the grass on this side of the river. And yet these beasts are still waiting and willing to risk their lives to cross over. You know, in a similar way, sometimes in life, we risk losing everything because we think that the grass is greener on the other side. But if that is the case, Sometimes instead of venturing and risking it all to get to the other side, we might be better off just watering our own grass. I'll let you chew on that for the application. Another lesson is that the wildebeest are waiting for one brave beast to take the first step into the water. Once one goes in, the multitudes are sure to follow. And here's a powerful lesson on leadership. You see, most are content to follow, but very few have the courage to lead. There are entire families that are standing on the banks of a spiritual decision. But many are afraid to move forward in faith because they don't want to face the potential dangers alone. But God doesn't save multitudes. He saves individuals one by one. And if you make a decision to cross over with Jesus, your example will encourage and inspire many others to follow. So go ahead, be the leader and cross over today. One last sobering lesson that hit me is that when you look down the river, you see scores and scores of dead carcasses waiting to be devoured by the crocs. Most of the bodies are fully intact, which shows that these animals did not fall prey to the lions or the crocs. Tragically and shockingly, they were trampled upon and drowned by members of their own flock. You see, friends, many times in life, we have more to fear from within than without. Sometimes it is the members of our own flock, our own family, our own church that hurt us the most. Let us remember that Christianity is not a competition. It doesn't matter who gets there first. Let's just make sure that we get there together. Let us stop trampling upon each other. Instead, let us lift each other up and help one another make it safely to the other side. Now, I'm sure there are many other spiritual object lessons we can learn from the river crossing. So if you have one, please share it in the comments below. And let us do all that we can to make it safely to the other side together. Aloha and Maranatha. We hope you've been blessed and inspired by this new Reflections of Hope episode. This episode is one of many that's been produced all over the world. If you haven't done so yet, please give our video a like, share it with your friends, and please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. If you'd like to see more inspiring episodes and get access to much more uplifting content, please go now to patreon.com forward slash revelation of hope and sign up to be a member of our Patreon page. Your monthly support will not only give you early access to many more inspiring videos, but it will also enable us to continue to produce more of these cinematic object lessons from nature. Our goal is to produce and release these episodes much more frequently. So please prayerfully consider partnering with us so that we may continue to share the hope of Jesus all over the world. Thank you so much for your support. Aloha and Maranatha.